Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today I am doing a eyeshadow tutorial for you guys. On one of my previous videos I was wearing this eye look and I asked you guys if you wanted a tutorial and I got a lot of likes on that video so thank you so much first of all for all the love. I think you guys wanted a tutorial on it because I asked you guys to like it and you did so here we are. <laughs> But this is a cool toned kind of glam look. This kind of look to me screams like wedding prom. So that's kind of the vibe that I was going for. Just like a smoky but glam eye. But it doesn't take over everything if you know what I mean. I also tried to make this affordable as well for you guys. Because I think it's different in like America and different countries. But prom here in the UK is when you're 16. Is it either 15 or 16? It's been a while since I've been in school okay. <laughs> Usually it's a one time thing. And some people you know are bougie and get like makeup artists and things like that but then other people, like myself, do their own makeup. So I wanted to make this as affordable as possible for you guys. If you are using this for prom or a wedding or anything like that, then I hope it turns out okay for you. And I hope I went in depth enough for you guys for the look to turn out really nice and seamless and effortless. So buckle up and let's get into the tutorial. Wait, 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 before we go there, if you like all things makeup, tutorials, reviews, get ready with me, then don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button down below and hit the bell next to it so you get notified of all my new uploads. You're always welcome on this channel, anyone and everyone. And yeah, I just want to grow this little community that we've got going here. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling without further ado. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is what we're working with. This is what we're gonna be doing today. First things first, we need to prime. I personally am gonna use the P. Louise base. This isn't terribly expensive but you can skip this kind of product with concealer. You just basically need to cancel out the colour on your lid so you've got a nice blank canvas. I'm just gonna dot this on my lid and then I like to take a flat brush. This is the Morphe M224 brush and I'm just gonna pat this out across the lid. As you can see I also take it further out past my brow and in the inner corner because I get discoloration and I've got freckles so I just like to cover those up. The palette we are using today is by Wet and Wild and you've seen this a few times on my channel. I just love the formula of these. They're really pigmented, really blendable and so, so cheap. It's the Wet and Wild Rosé in the Air palette and you can actually get this in the UK now. You can get it in Boots which is amazing and I believe this palette is only $3.99. The first shade that I'm going to go in with is the top one which is the Cool Tone Transition shade. With the looks because I like them to be really blown out and really kind of effortless. I do them slightly differently to what I would do say colourful looks. With the whole Instagram trend of packing on shadow to get the most amount of pigment that is great for colours but for things like this it's not needed. So I go in with a massive fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M533 and it's just massive. Look at it compared to my actual eye. What I do is I take that cool tone shadow and I take it on the side of the brush just because what happens then is you've got the color on one side and you can use the other bristles to blend. That way you're letting the brush do the work for you. It makes blending easier. I'm gonna tap off the excess. As long as you've got the color on one side of the brush, it's not gonna go everywhere. Just place it on the lid and buff and it will just blend really nicely and obviously starting off with not a lot of product will be best because if you go in with a lot of product and don't tap off the excess you're just gonna have a lump of color and we want to be able to build this so it's really nice and soft. I'm just gonna pat out the creases that I've got on my lid and I'm just gonna start by going on the outer edge here and then I'm gonna start buffing towards my nose. So as you can see when I'm starting off there's really not a lot of color going onto my lid but that is what you want because you want to build up the intensity. Build it up gradually I start off tapping off a lot of the product that goes on my brush and slowly I stop doing that and building it up with the pigment. It just helps everything blend really nicely and you get a more seamless blend finish. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing with my brush as well. When I'm initially going in with the pigment I'm pretty much keeping it on the mobile lid and just letting the excess bristles do all the blending and instead of moving my brush up and down I'm tilting my hand up and down. So the actual brush placement stays the same but the bristles blend in different areas. With using big fluffy brushes I just found this has helped me so much and it stopped the actual pigment going everywhere and obviously once I've placed the pigment and kind of buffed and blended it off my brush a little I'll move towards the inner corner and then once I pretty much got no product left over I'll just sweep over the edges to make sure they're all blended. Obviously this is just the initial color this is just our transition it's just nice to get the blend started from the get-go. Okay so now we want to build up a little bit of depth in the outer corner so I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown matte shade in the palette and I'm gonna take it on this little packer brush 
brush. This came in a set by BH Cosmetics, it's the number three brush. And again, I'm just gonna take it on one side of the brush and tap off a little bit of the excess. <laughs> Don't inhale it. And I'm gonna start by not following the contour of my eye. I'm gonna go straight up and pat it on the outer corner. I wanna create this kind of rounded look. My natural eye kind of wings out that way, so I wanna place it in a straight line so it doesn't go more almondy. So with the shade I just kind of patted it on the mobile lid and now I'm using the exact same brush but I just put the colour right on the tip of the brush and I just blended it through the crease. This is going to help with that cut crease because we are going to be cutting the crease so we just have that depth. Now I'm going to take that big fluffy blender again and I'm going to go in with the original transition shade we used and I'm going to go over that edge really gently and soft. To now highlight the brow bone, I'm going to go in with a matte highlight and I'm just taking this cream colour in the palette. Just going to go right here and across the brow bone. If you want a shimmery highlight, you can add one by all means. Okay, so now it's time to cut the crease. I'm going to go back in with my P. Louise base. So I've just done a half cut crease and then I just tapped out the edges with my finger to make it a little bit blended on the outside. Now is for the shimmery part of the lid. I used this baby right here, which is the BH Cosmetic Diamond Dazzler in the shade Radiant. These can be a little bit messy and a little bit chunky, so I found the easiest way to apply them is by mixing them in with the NYX Glitter Glue. I just threw that on the back of my hand. So once it's mixed up on my hand, all I pretty much do is go in with a flat brush. This is one by Beauty Bay. It's their shade out brush. And I just pack it over the cut crease and it just gives a pretty metallic look to the eye. Once I've applied our kind of glue base, I do take a little bit of the loose pigment and just pat it over the top and that just sets it all down. Just to blend out the edge a little bit, I take my big fluffy brush and that transition shade again and I just go over the edge of the shimmer. And the final product that I use is one of the Revolution Eye Glistens. This is in the shade it's fate and I take the glitter side first of all and I just pat it over the pigment this gives that kind of sealer magnificent metals feel but obviously it's a lot cheaper and more affordable then I'm taking the metallic side of the eye glisten and I put it in the inner corner and then take a tiny little brush and just diffused it a little bit so it was nice and blended as well but this is pretty much it for the eyeshadow what I'm gonna do now is add some liner first of all I'm going in with my revolution pro supreme pigment gel eyeliner in the shade brown and I'm gonna tie line with that and then I'm gonna add a line along my top lash line just so it conceals the band of my eyelashes. I finish at the end of my eye, I'm not winging it out at all. Then I add a quick coat of mascara which I just use the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. Then I'm gonna pop on my lashes, I'm using a Doll Beauty Esmeralda but you can use any lash that you like. I know that Eyelure has like some thick lashes if you want to go for a similar effect. They do have some good lashes now. I really like the Vegas Nay styles if they're still available. They had some thick styles similar to this so you can get some affordable lashes but these ones are £10 from Doll Beauty. Voila my eyelashes are now on. Now I'm gonna go and do my base off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay guys so I finished up my face I just thought I'd finish off the eyes so I'm gonna do a nude waterline. If you want to go for something a little bit more smoky then maybe add a brown liner. For the lower lash line I kind of want to merge everything together. For my blush I went for kind of like a neutral peachy natural kind of colour. What I'm gonna do to kind of tie it all together that is I'm gonna use the blush color that I used on my cheeks as a transition for my lower lash line. That way it will kind of merge the eyes and the face together a little bit. So I'm just taking my blush color on the Morphe M507 brush and I've taken it with very light hand because I don't know a lot of pigment. I just want you to see a hint of that color. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that color and just blend it just right here. That's just added like a subtle colour but it kind of all blends in together and it brings out the colour of the blush really nicely. Now to finish up we're going to be going back in with our Wet n Wild palette. And with a little angled brush I'm going to go in with the dark brown and I'm just going to go in and define the lash line. To finish off I'm going to bring that inner corner highlight in again so I'm going to take the liquid eyeshadow that we used. I'm just going to Bring it down slightly onto the inner corner on the lower lash line. I'm gonna do exactly the same and just blend it out slightly. So you've just got this subtle little shimmer. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the eyes. It's super duper pretty and very effortless. I don't know, this is like pretty makeup, if you know what I mean. It's not Insta Glam, it's just very soft but impactful, which I really like. So I'm gonna go finish off my other brow and do my lips and everything, and then I'll be right back. 
So this is the finished makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial. The focus was obviously mainly on the eyes, but I list everything that I put on my face and everything like that down below for you guys. But yeah, it's just a super sultry, cool tone look that's actually very affordable to do. I'd love to know, would you consider wearing a cool tone look to prom or for a wedding or anything like that? I feel like people tend to sway away from them. Like looks like this, they look so pretty. And I think cool tones need a little bit more credit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It seems like you guys wanted it from the light on my video where I wore it so hopefully I did it justice I made a few tweaks on this version but yeah I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world if you do like this look and you'd like to see more prom wedding inspired eye looks then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button so I know it really helps on my previous video so thank you guys so so much it was so nice to see that you guys wanted it and engagement is just like I don't know it's just such a cool thing I hope I made it simple for you guys and I try to use as minimal products as possible but also you know give you a full glam look. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, or if you're watching this tutorial before prom, I hope you have a nice prom or wedding. <laughs> I doubt it, but you never know. If you enjoy content like this, then don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below and the bell next to it so you get notified of when I upload. We have grown quite a bit over the past few days. I gained like 20 subscribers in two days, which is just insane for me. So thank you any newcomers. Anyone and everyone is welcome here. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you and I hope you tune in for the next one. Until then, bye guys. I'm happy for the love and all the above. If I'm being honest, I've just been through way too much. Oh my god, I gotta stop quoting Ariana Grande. What am I doing with my life? Thought there was a spider. No, not today. To build it up, grind. I'm not really moving it when I'm initially going in with. To make sure the product doesn't extend or fluff, pla. Oh. To make sure the. I've used this product by BH Cosmetics, which said that. Then I'm taking the metallic shade. Shade? Sorry. Then I'm taking the. <laughs> Stupid pencil. If you did invite. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm back. Uh, I'm dying. I'm an old woman now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dedication, baby. Dedication. I really like this makeup. I don't want to take it off. I tried the ABH loose highlighter today and oh my god. Oh my god. Magic does exist. <laughs>